Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time we started off Mount Mikage. Today we are doing fun times. Because we need to cross this wall. There will be statues like this truck here that want to push us off. Now where do we want to go here? I think I'm actually safe at the bottom. Yay! Good thing I remember that because falling there is kind of costly. <laughs> oh well. We swing like a Tarzan. We've seen the Lego gargoyles before outside, but. Yeah. The most annoying thing about the trees is that I need to heal because they usually appear in groups where I can't kill all the enemies at once. Oh, well, first of all problems, I suppose. Hmm. Well, I don't know how to deal with spider maps, but I know how to deal with bushes. That'll do her. We and we are back in that room where we saw all these fancy things. Kind of needed that altar there. In order to place the dancing items. And get the third light going. Oh yeah. This kills the serpent. to get back to the entrance of the dungeon and there's not really a nice way. So let's just use retreat and hope that doesn't reset all of the puzzles. It shouldn't, but it might. Well that battle was fun. Having to heal so much because trees can also attack with figuring and growth magic. A growth type magic. Which shouldn't come as much of a surprise, but well there you go. Anyway, we wanna move this rock there because we need this space right here to move around in. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this right here. Here or not it's just kind of annoying to Finagle this rock into the remaining position so that we can pass through. Kind of a neat little puzzle, though. Ah, yes. No angler worm. Bad angler worm. See, you didn't even do any damage. And Chenna Kid, you like the truck you are. <laughs> now there's a plant here. You know what we do with plants? We grow them. Question now becomes which Chin do I want to give to Isaac? And is Chenna at full MP? Yes, she is. Let's give him cannon, maybe? And trade for flower, why not? Actually, bad idea. I think I'd rather have... 
something useless? Yes, like so. Now Felix is in a really crappy chop class right now. <laughs> but with only one fire chin, but... He knows how to grow things, which is kind of useful. Because this maze is way too long for its own good. So up. Okay, I can do up. Spoiler alert. The chest? Not really a chest. And I'd rather have a decent um, setup against this guy. See if we can paralyze him, that would not be nice, you know, see? Uh, excellent! Psytrain is kind of the worst thing that could happen to me. Because I'll need my PP for the boss. Except for Felix's PP, who I I just can't rely on. Because well, he needs to grow all these things. I mean I could teach grow to just about anyone. But I feel Felix is the best choice, because of his high physical attack, he's still useful, even if he's out of PP. <laughs> Downside, of course, is I can't revive people quite as efficiently. I don't, also don't think you need to... You abs I don't think you absolutely need to draw each one of these. If you know the way, you can probably just memorize it and run through the dungeon. Without Drawing a single thing. This should be interesting. Because Felix is kind of weakened at the moment. Is she is gonna stay alive. And so is the mad woman. I did not anticipate that. Oh well. Let's kill some at, uh, tree. Interesting. Also, yes, mud is not set. Because I kind of want Chenna in a decent class. Oh, in this chest, the only chest in the dungeon, I believe. We get a rusty maze. That's gonna be interesting to see what it turns out to be. But we'll find that out eventually, shall we? I didn't mean to run nearly as much there, so... Whoops. <laughs> and we should already be nearing the end. Really, we aren't there yet. Instead, we get to fight another Dretan. Why not? You flash the guy, and you flash that guy real good. Still not there. I'm worried about Felix's PP at this rate. But that should be it. Yep. You may want to know where exactly. Each body part of the serpent is. No spoilers. <laughs> wow, 
up. And he dies. Well, first things first. Let's get these chop glasses back. <laughs> well, I suppose if we must be. You look pretty fine to me, actually. <laughs> A little bit full of yourself, aren't you? Well, good dragon, good dragon. So let's start unleashing stuff. Force the defense, I like that. Um, increase attack. Sounds more useful than it actually is. But I think I'm gonna try to paralyze. Will not have. Let's use waft. Why not? Might as well try. Reduce your systems. Reduce defenses. Elemental strength. You know what? That sounds like something that would be useful, even earlier on. That was nearly as bad as it could have been. Nice. <laughs> um, I want to slow you a little bit, so both of the attacks go after uh, my dude. Other than that, increase attack. Sounds like a fun thing to do. And let's try paralyzing that guy again. Other than that, um, I suppose reduce this guy's resistance would be a good thing to do. This guy has about 3000 HP or something ridiculous like that. And not only can he heal himself, but he also recovers a set amount of HP depending on how many lights you turned on. He recovers like more than 2000 HP every round if you don't hit any lights. Sounds like a fun time? Oh yes, I know it does. <laughs> Double strike, cannon. I kinda really want to continue attacking. But Pierce needs heals. Unless you have anything that. Yes, you can heal yourself. Okay, in that case. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
400 something damage. Not bad. It's a shame that the serpent. Well, ouch! <laughs> that the serpent's um, thing. You know, the thing. Of course you can't... Uh, hmm... How do you feel about Flare Storm? I'm just gonna go all out and hope I survive. That's a nice damage right there. <laughs> he resists water, but this is a level 4 summon, it's still gonna do a decent amount of damage. <laughs> oh, actually, he didn't resist that as much as I thought he would. Oh well. Huh. Stop being such a drama queen, Susie. Ha. <laughs> and its tail turned into water or something. He's going to a galaxy far, far away. Ooh. Hello. It's kind of a shame that Felix doesn't get an awesome inner chamber like Shiba or What's his face, Pierce? But the power of sand is pretty nifty. <laughs> Aww, yeah, new synergy for me. It's sand! You have no idea what all we can backtrack to now. You know, to get things that we couldn't get before. <laughs> sand! Use it like this on. Spoilers! On sand! We aren't supposed to know about this yet, but there totally is a weapon here, and I seem to recall it's kind of useless to us anyway. <laughs> oh, actually, it's really good for Pierce. Nice, nice. So let's give the forgeable material to him. Yes, I kept the rusty maze because it's so good as a weapon as is. <laughs> oh well, we are done in here, so that's right. Retreat doesn't work in inner chambers. Also, sand bears off immediately after, you know. You leave a sandy area. This kills the Phoenix. Yes, use retreat. Not only that, I'm also gonna stay at the inn at Isumo. Shh. 
sure that I can do. Bringing Drama Queen. Now nah, tell her yourself, buddy. Oh well. So, next time on Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age, we'll talk a little bit more to the people at Itsumo, and then we'll... That's the wrong button. Then we'll backtrack to a couple locations, and I suppose we could also finish up that side quest, which involves this pretty pebble. We got Mirtundaria from my penguin. Don't ask. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is Legion and fare thee well.